welcome to my channel my name is Karen and I wanted to film my completed colored pages for this month the month of November of 20, 2022 and I honestly have been in a kind of like a, the last few months that I did my completed pages I was, didn't have a lot I don't know I guess I was in a coloring slump but I found myself like really starting to um I don't know perk up and I did quite a bit more than usual which is good because I, I like I enjoy coloring so I think my slump is over <laughs> so okay the first book that I'm going to show you is I am um, I had seen this on Amazon of course right um Arteza coloring book and it was 72 sheets and it said unique portraits and the pictures look nice 100 pound paper so I was like, okay, let me give it a try. I really like this book. Um, let me know down below if any of you have it. I'm, I'm not gonna do a flip through, but you can see like the size compared to like, say this is like a regular book right here. The size of it is right, quite compact. If you do travel and what is also great is it has the, um, you know the elastic band there to keep it together now maybe this has been out a while i don't know but i really am enjoying it okay so let me just show you the picture i did it was a simple picture so like i said what i do like mainly is portraits butterflies you know well butterflies flowers and such but i really do enjoy coloring um faces the most i would say so this is the first picture i did let me see um and everything pretty much is um you know i always i don't write my things down i should but it's gonna be really for every picture it's gonna be markers or pencils you know i don't know what type of pencils because i have various ones i pull I'll pull but i know this was um, markers for the hair and let me see markers for the skin for her eyes eyes and the lips i know it was pencil and of course I use some glitter there, over here. I was gonna do a background, but I'm like, no, the flowers are okay. Okay, so that is that one from Arteza, Arteza, I'm not sure we ha how you pronounce it, 72. And so this next one is from um, from Halloween to Christmas from Drea, Draw Drea Drawers. And this page I did was this one. Now I just posted this. Um, this is a very recent page I did. Because I would say the majority of my coloring has been done in the last, I'm um, gonna say maybe a week or two. Um, this one right here and she's called Snow Queen. So alcohol marker and tons of glitter. As you can see, tons of um, stickle for the crown and for, then I said, you know what, let me make her eyebrows, you know, I was going OD on the glitter, make her eyebrows glitter too while I'm at it. <laughs> but I love her books, um, Drea. And yeah, this is fun. So that one. I had picked up this book. No, I'm sorry, this book was given to me as a birthday uh, present from um, Coloring Diva, Monet. And I was looking at it one day and I'm like, you know what, let me just start. I love this book. I see why it was going around YouTube, Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. Oh my goodness, I even colored, I use, don't use, I mean it's small, so it's not a lot of coloring, but it's easy coloring. And I think that's what helped me actually get out of my slump because once you start coloring, it's kind of like, oh, okay, let me do another one before you know it, you, you finish the page. So this is done basically in um, markers. Um, the wings I did with pencil, glitter pens, and um, I used some stickle. Did I use stickle? Oh no, I used some, I don't know if it will show up. A little like for her wings, there's Wink of Stella on there, but I know it has to hit the light a certain way. But I love these images, they're really, really cute. Yeah, I use the, I just put a thing, a page between, so I could use the alcohol marker. 
and actually and then this page I did this was actually the first page I did some of them are horizontal some of them are um vertical and why I like this page is because it has a little pumpkins and it's fall time well almost winter time but um I used markers pencil and stickles for for the wings and like I said I really um well the year is almost going to be over but maybe this will be this will definitely be one of my books to complete it's a really cute book okay so on to the next one this is I'm trying to work in well show love to some I know we all try to show love to some books, Try, I mean, to our books. Try not to buy any more new books, but this is A Million Unicorns by Lula Mayo. And I don't have all of hers, but I have um, some of them. Most, most, I would say. So this is the page um, I had done. The cute little unicorns with the heart and it's funny because um now this was done very quickly pencil um pretty much pencil and then for background i used um what do i usually um the ranger ink this is the page i had done before which is very similar but this had the this page has the butterflies but yeah i want to i want to complete um i have to go through my books but I would like to, I've never completed a whole full book. And that'll be one of my goals for next, <laughs> for next year is to complete like a whole full, a whole complete book. Because when I see people that have done that, I'm really like impressed. That, that's, um, that takes a lot to complete a, you know, a whole book just to be committed to it. Okay, the next book here, Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. And this is, um, well, I like all of her books too. And I did this page here of this, just a simple like lady, not too intricate. And yeah, I used, let's see, I'm pretty sure I used um, marker for her face and hair flowers I did with pencil I do remember that and then of course for the accents there for her crown I used um well I did use I first did a gold pen and then I put um of course glitter <laughs> glitter um stickles I almost forgot the name of it stickles so that's the page I did in Hannah Lynn's book I mean Hanolin, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's two Hannahs here. Um not Hanolin and Hannah um Carlson's book. Okay, so the next book I um the next page rather is from Maria Trolle Luna. I believe she has some new books out too. And I just chose this one. This was another simple one. Um, just flowers, just a simple flowers. And then I did the um, distress inks for the background. Oh, the little girl is there in the flower. So I find that if I'm like, I think that's the key. If I'm, for me anyway, if I don't feel like coloring, I feel like I'm in a slump. Sometimes if I just color something that I know I could, you know, like I like coloring flowers, I'll do the flowers, I'll do butterflies. And then, you know, at least I've done something. So, but yeah, I did that one. And the next one is from this new book that I just got. Well, it's not new. It came out though in the US, um, on Am the U US Amazon in, uh, I think like a few weeks ago. Grazia Salvo, um, The Brightness, The Women of Flowers Collection 3. And I have, um, I know she, I know the um, book in Italian is, was out first, but I have all her books in her set and I love her artwork. It's so beautiful. So 
I had to get brightness. Um, and I already did one page from here. Um, this page right here. Very simple, but um, like I said, Grazia Salvo is like an automatic buy for me. Like with Jurea, there's just certain people that they're the automatic book buys. So um, I used, um, let me see, Skin Tone was the alcohol marker. And I'm trying to think if it was, I'm not sure now. It may have been the portrait. Um, I think maybe it was this Copic. I don't have all the Copics, believe me, but the skin tone. It may have been this Copic one. I'm not sure. I remember um, getting them a while back because I wanted to see, which I do like them, but <laughs> no. To get the whole set, yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> um, and then I did <clears throat> various um, pencils for the flowers. Background this is the Ranger ink. So this is one of the newest books that um, I have got purchased rather. And let me see. What, okay, so there's two more. See, I did do a bit more than I have been doing. This book is so pretty. Um, I had posted the picture on Amazon, but Amazon, I'm sorry, my Instagram. Beautiful portraits, realistic adult coloring book. It's a new release. And it says it's, um, the copyright says it's owned by, um, well, it's owned by Cello Works slash Cindy L. Sharoni. I'm not sure of how to pronounce her name, but um, that's the author's name. And when I saw this, um, somebody had this book. It was just so, so cute. Just, it's a mixture of like, um, what does it say? Well, actually, it's a mixture of like fairies and, and more. So I, pick, I colored this little girl here. Thought she was adorable. Now, I'm trying to work with pan pistols. That's something that's new to me. Um, but I did do her hair base with, um, her hair was with uh, markers, pencils, the flowers and her dress. I did some embellishment, some little drops on her um, on her dress. Nouveau, Nouveau, what is it called? No, not no, not Nouveau Crystal. I'm so sorry. It's um these drops here. The the liquid pearls. The air, the dimension. I love these liquid pearls, Ranger. I wish I could buy the whole like all, all of them. But anyway. <laughs> The only thing is I feel, so the pan pastel, which I'm still trying to, I'm in no way an expert. I feel like her complexion came out a little uneven, but it wasn't the worst. I didn't have to, you know, d discard it. So yeah, anyway, cute little girl from this book. And we are on the last one. And this is another um, illustrator. I like her books. And Christine Karen, Caron, I'm not sure. Characters through World and Times. This is the Grayscale Edition. And I did, let me see. Oh, here it is. This page I also just, this was one of my very recent, re this is done like the other day, literally. I just put this on. I don't put all my pictures on Instagram. I honestly forget, but um, this is the page that I did like just, I think a couple of days ago. Um, like I said, I love all of her illustrations and I was really happy with this because of the, um, I was glad that the skin tone, you know, like it didn't come out streaky or, or something. Sometimes when I'm using my markers, they tend to come out streaky. Um, and I hate that because it, I don't know, it just seems to like you can never get the skin tone then to look nice. Anyway, so I used the marker for the skin tone. Um, let me see. For her hair, I did the eyes with pencils and her eyebrows. And of course, I did do like this. I have this gold tone pen 
that I use for the um, the earrings and the jewelry. And then I just, honestly, I just load it. I just start putting the stickles on to make it kind of look like jewelry. I know there are some people that make jewelry look really like real, real jewelry. I'm not at that level, so. <laughs> I'm not at that level. I have to work on that. So um, I just use stickles for now. Yeah, but that's it. That is the last page. So more than I have done in quite a while. And like I said, um, I had fun though. It was really fun. So um, thank you all so much for watching. I can't believe like it is, well, we're going into December and then Christmas. And I hope you all had a great um, Thanksgiving. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And take care, bye. Thank you.